Have you ever tried herding cats? That's right, cats. Those fluffy, unpredictable little critters that seem to have a mind of their own. Well, if you have, then you're already halfway equipped to handle the fun chaos of transitioning your family onto a keto diet. Because, let's face it, steering everyone's taste buds and mealtime expectations in a low-carb direction can feel a bit like directing a feline flash mob. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Keto? Oh, that's just for the fitness gurus and Hollywood elite, right? Wrong! It's become the talk of town in Nutritiousville, and I'm here to tell you, breaking bread might be a no-no, but breaking the mold is what we're aiming for. Imagine setting the table with dishes that shout, fancy feast, but actually whisper, keto. It's about finding that sweet spot, minus the sugar, of course, where health and flavor collide, creating a taste explosion so powerful it'll knock the socks off any carb-loaded comfort food. Dad's rolling his eyes at the thought of giving up his cherished potato chips. The teens are already staging a protest in defense of pizza, and the little ones, well, they're on the floor crafting macaroni artwork. Hold the macaroni. The quest has begun. Keto and family, making it work for everyone. You with me? Let the games begin. Picture this. It's Monday, the notorious day for starting diets and other life improvements, and you've decided it's time to introduce the crew to their new best friend, Mr. Keto. There's a collective groan, the sound that has, throughout history, accompanied the notion of healthier options. But you, the intrepid captain of this ship, have a strategy, starting with the universal language of deliciousness. First up is the age-old tactic of deception. No, not that sinister kind. I'm talking about those cunning culinary swaps that make taste buds dance without realizing they've entered keto land. Zucchini noodles, affectionately dubbed zoodles by those in the know, make their grand entrance masquerading as spaghetti. Then there's cauliflower, the chameleon of the vegetable world, magically transforming into rice, pizza crusts, and even mashed potatoes. The looks of skepticism slowly turn into nods of approval as the kids ask for seconds, not even realizing they've crossed into enemy territory, aka the land of healthier choices. But it's not all smoke and mirrors. Let's throw in a lit bit of good old negotiation and compromise. You want the family to stick with keto during the week? Cool. How about planning a meal together where everyone gets to pick one keto-friendly ingredient? Boom! You've just turned meal prep into a democracy and engagement is peaking. Funny enough, as you dive deeper into the week, you notice the sibling rivalry has taken on a new form. A match of who can make the best keto dessert. From avocado chocolate mousse that's so creamy it should be illegal, to almond flour cookies that could convince Santa to go keto. Suddenly, everyone's having too much fun to remember what sugar even tasted like. But let's not sugarcoat it. Jumping on the keto wagon can also bring a few bumps along the ride. Remember, it's about balance. So when Aunt Edna tries to sabotage the whole operation with her infamous double-crusted apple pie, you meet her at the door with a keto-friendly berry crumble so good it makes her question all her life choices. And here's the kicker. The keto diet isn't just about shedding pounds or reducing carbs. It's about discovering a treasure trove of health benefits. Say adios to that afternoon energy slump and hello to constant fuel courtesy of those awesome ketones. Imagine the whole fam bam riding the energy wave together, harmonious, vibrant, with enough mojo to outdance. The neighbor's dog who, incidentally, has quite the moves. Weeks go by and you start noticing not just physical changes, but emotional ones. Tommy's focus is laser sharp during homework time and even you've been feeling like you could solve a Rubik's cube while riding a unicycle backwards. The family's on board and thriving because, spoiler alert, when done right, keto doesn't feel like a diet. It feels like a lifestyle upgrade. And as the journey unfolds, you become the master of mealtime storytelling with anecdotes of nights, your family, and dragons, carbs, where every dinner becomes an act of bravery. You are, after all, not just changing a diet. You're writing a family saga, one low-carb meal at a time. One day, as you sit back and watch your once skeptical family now ferociously defend the honor of keto brownies at a neighborhood potluck, you feel a surge of pride. You've led your clan to the promised land of bacon and cheese, where greens are worshipped and the coconut flour flows abundantly. You've not just put dinner on the table, you've woven a tapestry of health, unity, and culinary zest. But as all masterpieces go, they need the perfect ending. So, as we reach the twilight of our keto tale, remember that this isn't just about a diet, it's about a journey. A journey filled with creativity, resilience, and a whole lot of butter. Keep seeking, discovering, and embracing wellness until we reconnect.